Hey, hello! Who's ready to jump right back on in? With Sophie the Hunem in White Run. Did I find more mods? Maybe. Did I add them in? Maybe. Is this game still incredibly gorgeous? Maybe. Actually, we don't have any money. Nightshade. Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Dragons, I can handle. But this talk of dragons, well, well it's gone mad. No tell you what it means. Nothing. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. What's the I meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving just... visitors. Who's this then? Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. The Jarl will want Hold to speak to you. Wow, impressive. She was flying. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Earl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and burns my, my hold. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, but I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. Faringar! He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons <laughs> and rumors of dragons. I'm really sad. Uh, there was a mod in the original one that was called Jarl Dogruff that turns Jarl Balgruff into a dog does not exist in this one. Can I pick his pocket? I may have been able to pick his pocket there for a fraction of a second. Faringar. I can pick his pocket. Steal from the king! Yes! I think I wow, he's got like nothing on him. someone who can wow and we stole it first try let's go let's steal that ring though 
Dragon Project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Fire and guard, a secret fire. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. I mean, kings should have ornate jewelry all over their fingers and their necks and like jewel encrusted things like Steal an ornamental dagger. What does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search Me, for I've stolen from lots of kings. dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh, we already had that. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are foists on me. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. Farangar. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So... Yerileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. It was fast. Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already <laughs> ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her. I love how all dragon. I did was tell him, hey, there's a dragon Who's spotted, and suddenly. Friend? So you have more experience with dragons than anyone We're suddenly else his here. friend. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal... Avenici? Isn't he that cool songwriter? See this dragon. No. I can't... For... <laughs> I think I'm clever. Are we really only allowed to wear one ring? Yes. Both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. Farangar, so One sad. One last thing, Irrelev. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution.
Whoops. I've seen you helping the yard. If only all visitors to White Run were as noble. I did a bit of research and um that is actually a real dodge roll, which means if I'm about to be attacked, I can go shabam and avoid it. I'll see. Also, I'm sorry you're sleepy. Gods and dragon suits say you raided the yard. The half of white run, I thank you. Chocobos! Hi! Oh god, your face! What did they do to you? Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the western watchtower. A dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. With house car, how could we fight a dragon? That's With this Hunum! None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected You've had mercenary to face work? one in battle. It might suit you. But we are honor bound <sighs> to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call the most fearsome of faces? Monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, are so dead. But it's more We're than sweating. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last day. I've already killed a dragon. Glory of killing it is ours. If you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah, damn yeah. right. Let's move out. I love how they're talking about killing the first dragon in a century, and I'm like, but I already killed Charizard. We're gonna break in here. Running as fast as we can. Look, time goes by as we sit here waiting. Yes. Oh, good. War Maidens is open. Oh, I need to sell some stuff. Hello, good sir. Welcome to War Maidens. Now you, my girl, have definitely come to the right place. Take a look. Mm hmm. 
Okay, I have a couple of things I need to get rid of. I've got this. Oh, I can't even sell the things I just stole from you. Well, that's lame. Alright, let's get rid of it. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Uh, oh, that actually kind of sucks. Good doing business with you. All right, I gotta find a different shop to sell all my stolen things. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A red guard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Wonder if I can sell to her. I don't claim to be the best blacks. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I can't sell to you. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. But I can sell to the other guy. If we can find him. So slow. Welcome to Overburden the Journey. This is your host, me, who's overburdened in his journey again. This will be a common theme in our story. So please, be ready, be happy, be excited. As we continuously have to go slow because I'm a greedy mother fudger. Yay. Can I jump? Uh, jumping sometimes helps. It doesn't help in this situation, though. Oh. Are you a store? Nope. <clears throat> <sighs> Might be a genius. Wait, what's the heaviest thing we have? 27. No, nope, never mind. I was gonna say, maybe if I could drop the heaviest thing I have, and or heaviest thing is 30, and that would maybe get us light enough. No, it's still too heavy. We'd have to drop two things, because you can carry something, like in your hands, those. Wow, look at this fog. It is beautiful. You have to admit. That this game looks gorgeous right now. Wait. 
The future of Skyrim. That looks like a red guard woman. I guess it kind of makes sense that I can't just steal from the shop and then immediately turn around and sell it back to them because they'd be like, um, those are our items that mysteriously vanished last night. Where did you get them? Uh, I killed a bandit. Yeah, he was, he was, he tried to attack me outside of White Run, and so I slew him and took all these items. Are they yours? Here you go, sir. Please, take your items back. For I definitely did not steal. I slew him. It's like a coleslaw, but it's a coleslaw. Get it? Ha ha! My poor Fralia thinks Thoron's still alive. Gods be praised. Wait, I can't sell the things I stole? Well, that's lame. Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll just drop them. I don't need them! We gray mains got just... Gods be praised. Okay, I'm leaving. He's like, good. Alright, shall we go slew a dragon? Hardcore parkour! Staying safe, I hope. I work with my mother. So it's in bed. Watch what you're doing. It's fun mostly. It's the hard work. Bits and bobbles. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. You take care of yourself now. Sir... Wordstead's a nice enough little hamlet, but a boring posting for a guard. The dragon attacks well. Let it be a different story. I like how he's just standing in a bush. He's just like, ah, yes, the bushy goodness. I love me a bit of bushy good. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Jarl's backside. That's men are all alike, from Skyrim to Hammerfell. Men are all alike. All right, let's go get Sophia, our first companion. This might hurt. Let's not do this. I mean, I have magic to heal, but... What are you looking at? Not you! Ha ha ha! Let me guess. You want to talk? What? Where am I? It's you! I mean, what? No, I've never seen you before. I have no idea who you are. 
It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. Wait! Don't leave! Uh, I'm injured! Uh, yes, injured! Uh, you I'm injured! You. Otherwise I might die and you wouldn't want that on your conscience. Yeah, well, that's because... Okay, fine. If you take me with you, I will make it worth your while. You won't find anyone tougher than me in Skyrim. Not to mention that's good looking. Haha, -ha, you are so funny. I'm just being honest. Ha -ha, anyone who says you are otherwise so funny. is clearly jealous. Can you name someone better than me? <laughs> I didn't think so. Anyway, thanks, I guess. What? Ugh, I have no idea. My memory is a little fuzzy. If you happen to have any, I would appreciate it. Oh, and stop staring at my body. It's like you've never seen a semi-naked woman before. A semi-naked woman, though. I don't. I thought I would help you out. Well, I was hoping you would kind of keep me company. Look... I know it sounds weird, but it's no fun on my own. You can tell me to leave if you want, but surely you can at least give me a chance? Give me a chance? I don't know. I'll just go wherever you are going. I will repay your kindness by fighting alongside you. Surely that's an offer you can't refuse. Of course I'm alright. Don't start fuzzing over me. I'm more than capable of handling myself. Am I not allowed out on my own now? I had a little too much to drink. So what? I guess I must have passed out. I hope I didn't cause too much trouble. Actually, I'm not really that bothered. I rather enjoyed a... Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Sophia, but you probably already knew that. I'm quite well known in Skyrim, although sometimes I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. I kind of see myself as an adventure, although it's no fun without anyone to witness my heroic deeds, such as... Well, I'm sure there's probably something. I like to get drunk, kill stuff, and be a nuisance. So, what about you? <sighs> Well, then it must be a lucky day, as I know Skyrim like the back of my hand. <laughs> of course, I have many other talents, so be sure to let me know if you need me. Do you have something to say? Um... Is it because you're scared what I might do with it? So, we can make her... A storage of things we don't want to carry. <sighs> Actually, I'm going to take those back. All right, hold on. What is it? Oh, what is it? Uh, let's give her some imperial boots, a helm. Is this really all you think I'm worth? Wow, really? Let me guess. You want to talk? Yippee! I love holding people's junk. 
I try to give her clothes, and what she do? She complains. Do I have a choice? Well, okay, but you owe me. What's on your mind? Oh, I could have. If you say so. I had to hit set. <sighs> well, there goes everything I had that I could have. Oh no, here we are. I guess. Oh, I lost Got the fit. The speeds in all of Skyrim. I think. No. Got the fleetest speeds in all of yes, Skyrim. Yes, I'm listening. If you say so. There we go. There we go. I'm here if you ever need me. We could steal a horse or Please tell me you're not actually considering it. Not that I'm scared, of course. I found something better to ride. Yes! I know it was bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. If that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Shut out, we for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. We need to know what we're dealing with. the dragon. Oh. It's a blue dragon. Blue and black. attacking my farm I would like to say that my uh, mods are definitely fucking with the uh, AI and everything of this game is wonderful. Ah, what are you doing up there? Cha cha.
Oh. That's what you call insta-death. <laughs> Ouch. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Probably should have saved. So now we have to do our Sophia talk again. Ugh. Yep. I'm all ears. It's not like I've been stuck. Wait. Don't. Yeah, well. You well at least we know what to do now. Tougher than me and... Can you name someone better than me? <laughs> I didn't think so. I don't know. I don't. Let's just go through all the dialogue real quick. You can tell me to leave if you want. Am I not allowed? I hope I didn't cost too much. Of course I'm alright. <laughs> what? Oh, and stop there. Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? I'm quite... I kind of see my... Well, I'm sure there's probably some... What's on your mind? If you say so. Yeah, I know. Alright, she's just gonna have her own stuff, so. Huh, you're no fun. Alright. That, that. That. Um. Okay. I'm here if you ever need me. Did I just hear? Okay. All right then. Now we'll save. By the way, she's, uh, <laughs> all the, uh, ways people walk in this game have been changed so that, uh, there's now a sexy walk for women. Why? I don't know. Hi, Pazuzu. No biggie, I'm just gra riding my own dragon to battle. Really? No sign of a dragon? She's just like, no sign of a dragon, we're just like... Yep. That was fun, but like really glitchy.
Well. <laughs> Welp. Ha. Ah. This will be fun to figure out how to beat. Obviously, don't be attacked. How many times are we going to die? These people who think they are really tough and special and boast all the time. Also, don't you just hate those people who talk about pointless stuff that they really should keep to themselves? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, I need to take a look at something. Mod configurations! Diverse dragons. Uh Whatever. We'll figure it out. We're doing better each time.
Hello. God, we're gonna die. Replenish our health. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, damn it, we died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know which dragon this one is, but it's destroying us. I can't even, like, despawn it. I think we're just gonna have to be smarter, hit and run type deal. I can't just stand there and beat it up. You know? Attacking random people on the street. I'd like to point out everybody here died. Except for Sophia and the other essential. God, I got darted from a dart. It was a shark dart from a fart. <sighs> he was almost dead. Us. It's a, dragon. a shark fart from a dart. It was a shark dart with a fart. I have to remember, I have a dodge roll. Oh, 
He's a pin cushion. I would admire your courage if I wasn't laughing. Thanks, Sophia. I have to remember, a lot of the dragons you just don't want to just randomly approach because they will destroy you like this. We got lucky with Charizard. Yes. Take you over to the farm where my animal buddies will kill you. what I like to call chatter. We learn force. Report back to Yarabagroth. Are you saying you don't trust me? Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. Eating up all my storage. There we go. Let's not hang around then. Good boy, Draco. You want the keys? Mwah. Good Draco. Draco get keys. killed a dragon and you absorbed its soul this day just keeps getting better just wait till it tell people that a two it. hero slayed You're a dragon dragon ball. You helped out a bit. in the very oldest tales <laughs> back from when there were still dragons in sky the dragon born would slay dragons and steal their power that's what you did isn't it absorb the dragon's power well you can shout now couldn't before. I right? can shout, RAR! Must be a dragonborn. You must be dragonborn. You must be dragonborn. You know what I had to say about that? Fusro. Damn. Sorry, Fusro. Damn. 
get, 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 get. Now we just have to make sure we don't accidentally right bumper in town and kill people. <laughs> so for our very last episode when we play this game, I think what I'll plan on doing is after we beat it, and decide to either stop or do another playthrough, I'll like undo all the mods and uh, open it up right where we had left off so you could compare how the game looks with vanilla to modded. Fuss road down. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. I will beat the shit. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. If I had a child, I would get them to knock every single I work one of your teeth mother. out. To sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun, most. You should go to the temple and see the healer right away. You can't be healthy having your head stuck too far up your own backside. Wait, are you really dragonborn? So I guess that really does make you kind of special. I guess you always live up to my high standards now. Good looking, strong, brave, adventurous. So tell me what sort of women are you into? Not that I'm interested in you or anything. You just teleported behind me saying you're not interested in me. Finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. My brother. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. So it's true. Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune. Thum. If you really are dragon, I have two thumes. They thooms. can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybeseptim himself was summoned when he was the Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. No nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avanich. I meant no disrespect, of course. Yes, you did. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. The summons of the Greybeards. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. 7,000 steps, that's not much. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. 
They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragon. Service for me and my, my city. Right is Jarl. I name you Thane of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Badge of office. Also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't so want them to think you're part of the common well, rabble, now would we? Common rabble. We are honored to have you as thane of our What is a thane anyway? Perhaps I could take advantage of you sometime. Uh, I mean, if yes, we got into trouble, I could use your status to my advantage. She wants to take advantage of me. Should I be scared? Should I be excited? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Like the rest of the. Eight warriors. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books and my spells. That's what uh, Sophia was saying in the background. She's just like, I should take advantage of you. I don't know much. Only the old tales about the ancient heroes who would use the voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. They say the emperors used to be dragonborn, but that all ended when Martin died during the Oblivion Crisis. The Greybeards can tell you much more than I can. They're the masters of the way of the voice and taught Tiber Septim himself. Well, I only know what I've heard in the old tales. Shouting is an ancient form of magic, the use of one's voice to project their power. If you can shout, you need to go see the Greybeards. They'll know what to do. If you need to scream and shout and let it all out, Perspective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterholm. The College of Winterholm? Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, You'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. If you have the coin. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Wow. You're better than I am for carrying out menial tasks. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. I can buy almost everything. Wow, I can buy so many things. Ooh. I can enchant my arrows. If I had money. Which I don't. Uh, I'm not going to use this. Hold on. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College. Since Ulfric Stormcloaks are understanding around, the cost of has doubled. should be taken to I'll fight more coin. Let me guess. Huh, you're no fun. I can scarcely afford to pay the guards. I'm glad that's sorted. Every one of them is public. It seems this damnable... So, you wish to master the arcane arts. Alright. Clear points. I think that means I already know it.
remember, you're mine. He's like, somebody wants to learn my magic. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. An honor. The guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Lead the way. Yes, my Thane? Meh, I'll do it Do there. let me know if I've got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Is there anything else you need? I'm all ears. Well, not literally, of course. Okay, but don't push your luck. Huh, you're no fun. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> I read the Wait, wasn't I given a Could have sworn I was given two weapons. Guess not. Oh well. Little uh, chat. Let's look at our magic. Stash supplies. Nah. Hello, Carnalicus. How are you doing? What's the deal with the house call? The yards are still here. He doesn't look much to me. They could have naturally changed the combat. We just hark a puck all around. Our... Companions will catch up with us, probably. Jorland works the Skyforge. He's a marvelous... My poor Fralia thinks Thorald's still alive, but I know better. Gods be praised. Gods be praised. It's heavy though, we don't do heavy. A nodachi. That's good to hear. 
I want a better bow, but I don't think any of this is gonna have better bow for us. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awkward moment where you can just keep out, keep on pulling out your weapons. At least we didn't shout at somebody. Dragonborn, it's an honor. They say there's nothing. Dragonborn. Why isn't it? You did it! You killed the dragon. Hello, Chocobobo. Chocabo. Chicobo. Maybe. Yay! It crashed. I need to start saving more often. Uh, chance of there being an auto save we can pick up? Maybe. Uh, we haven't gotten to any of that. <sighs> Just started. I've actually never played Skyrim before, to be honest. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making it up as I go. What's the deal with that house call the y'all just gave you? So it doesn't look much to me. All right. Let's go rebuy those arrows. I should set that man to non-essential and then murder him when no one's looking. I don't know what I would choose. Or are you just asking my preference? <laughs> Because I don't really know. God be praised. I might just leave it up to chat to decide. That's more fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess vampire's the answer. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. <laughs> Alright. Quick save. Waiting for the game to crash on us again as we walk out the gate to Skyrim. Didn't crash. Sudden crash. And jury's in. Mm -hmm. Didn't crash. Lonnie's just like. Hmm. I'm not sure I like the sound of the seven thousand steps. Surely that must absolutely kill your legs. I also better check I'm wearing underwear, because I've heard that it can get a little chilly around the southern parts, if you know what I mean. I don't need your help to do that before you ask. I heard it gets a little chilly down there in the southern parts. If you know what I mean. Personally, my preference would also depend on, you know, what kind of, like, vampires slash werewolves they are, you know. Some vampires are simply vampires. Some vampires have, like, you know, super strength, super speed, other things. Some vampires can transform into bites, you know. But I think overall, I personally would choose werewolf myself. 
for funsies. I'm feeling you. All right, where do we want to go? Rorikstead. We are literally just writing energy. Come on, you stupid horse. <laughs> Where there's a stubborn individual, there's a way. Though this isn't a horse, it's a little bit harder to get it to do stupid things, but I will make it work. Yeah, we are flying again. Now we must find a silly jester. Are we gonna keep looking for silly uh, mods to add to this game? Oh, oh yes. But we have to be careful. We don't want to add the caliente mods if you know what I'm saying. Sorry, you like using just one hand for your weapon? I always thought you had good wrist action. But then again, women can be quite good with their hands. You pick some bad yeah. you get lost. You'll pay for that. I was literally going to talk to them in trade, but now they're like, You have picked a wrong time to fight. I'm like, Okay. You know what? Yes? Did you want something? If you say so. <laughs> All right then. Excuse me, game. a fork. I'm like, did I see an arrow? Were they eating with arrows? Shaw. P. Shaw. Fish. Fosh. P. Shaw. Alright, riding that animal is very slow, so we'll just run.
Luna Moth. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Thank God the God saved our life. Continuing down this way. Look, more chocobos! Choke, choco, 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 bo, cho, choco, choco, bo, cho, choco, 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 bo, cho, choco, bo, choco, bo, choco, bo, cho, choco, choco, bo, cho, choco, choco, bo. She's quite dead. <laughs> She's quite dead. <laughs> a new home, a new crypt, but ah, oh, wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel, damnedest. See? Oh, oh, oh yeah! <laughs> yes, the only stranger can see. Yes. Go to the farm, the glorious farm, just over there, off the road. Glorious. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. He refuses. Uh, convince Loris to fix my wheel. Do that. And poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. A gleamy, shiny coin. I don't know whether to be afraid or amused. I also don't know if Lorius is alive or dead. Love of Mara, what now? The, um, little man. That Cicero feller? Huh, <laughs> tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Hmm. Pay me! You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Well, there is something. There's a guard patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. You could report the fool. You know, say he's done something against the law. 
That will at least get rid of them for me. What do you say? Well, are we going to condemn a potentially innocent man? Are we going to report? Oh, no, I've got like 100 mods running right now, Carnalicus, and I'm going to be constantly adding more because as my first playthrough, mod the hell out of it. Don't condemn him. <laughs> Fine, suit yourself. But you're wrong anyway. Just look at the fool. I don't know what it is, but he's damn well guilty of something. I thought we talked enough. Unless you've reconsidered my offer. That Cicero needs sorting. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. The fellow might be nice, might not. The fact is, he needs help. I turned him away. What kind of a man am I? Exactly. Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Of course. Go back to sleep, good sir. Yes. Yes. Just go back to sleep. Easy. They fall for it every time. They think they're safe. And then their gold is gone. Leeks. Garlets. A braid of garlic. The invisible stealer of steel. What are you doing? Sophia, if you want to be helpful, you could also steal things. And now we leave a note that says Cicero was here. Wait. <laughs> Minor boots. Boo. The woodcutter's wife. We'll just take that. And... Potato! I didn't do it! Run away! Ah, much better. Yes, we've already killed a Charizard too, Carnalicus. They are always full of tools and hoes. Those hoes are a real pain to use. Never again will I do an honest day's work. If you looked up into the night sky and you saw this as your moon, what would you think? Poor mother! Our new home seems so very far! So very far! You, you did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny, clinky gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> Did we do a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, hey, we could get that Caillou Moon again instead. Oh. <sighs> Alright, let's go this way. Whoops. Oh. Wrong button. I'm going to accidentally scream at a lot of people. And it's not my fault that my foom gets overexcited at times. Look, I have a hyperactive foom, okay? 
It's not my fault that I gotta go foos. Foos for a dam. Oh, what's that part of the dynamite that you light? Oh, what's it called? Foos! Ah, right, the foos. Thank you so much. Whatever would I do without you, Sophie? Get foosed, bitch! I yield! I yield! Ah! Oh, that was Sophia. My bad. And she'll be fine. A mammoth snoot. Then you will boot the snoot. Boop, 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 your snoop. How did I miss? Did I go th straight through his goddamn throat? Right through his goddamn throbbed. Who are you? <gasps> Mammoth smoots. Mammoth tusk. Mammoth tusk. Potion, potion. Can I has? I want to be the trapper. Get shot, bitch! By da 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 da, he got shot, bitchy bitch. The poacher's axe, eh? 
That's a cool design, I will say. <gasps> a mammoth snoop! Oh, Many times am I going to vom because we keep doing that spinny spin randomly? Fuck yes! We are the world's best around! Scroll of God form brings me down! Uh, thanks computer for doing that again. You okay there, Sophia? Are you okay? Sophia, you can be honest, are you okay? I mean, I'm okay. But are you okay? Oh, that's, that's a, uh, that's a new piercing? <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that would end up happening. Can't let me fix stream avatars. Also, it's like, Can you actually see, like, the thing flash at all, or do you, like, see it flash on my face, or do you just see stream avatars freeze? Just curious. Ah. Well, like I said, it pops up and, like, turns off my nightlight. So it becomes like uber bright. It's okay. Potion of strength, money, potion of night. Or strength, or. Look, could you, like, do something about that? You got a bogey coming out of you. Sophia. I'm all ears. Well, is it because you're scared what I might do with it? No, it's because I'm lazy. Give me. I give you. I rather enjoyed a little chat. We like to mine all day and night, oh yay, we're gonna get some iron, and then we're gonna smelt. God, I'm so good. I didn't beat it! I didn't beat it! Kind of cool. And I thought I was clumsy. You know, I th think that if a guy found out his wife was dragonborn, he wouldn't be best pleased. 
Men already constantly complain about being like, shouted at by their wives. I realized that it was a trap, like... That was a setup to just... Like... But I thought it was just to, like, alert them. Like, it was a sound trap, you know? I didn't realize it was like a... Oh god, there. this is literally a spike pit to kill you. You fall down here and die. And then... Ow. Ow. Harsh. But effective. Actually, hold on. Magic... Let's heal ourselves. Fight another one. Or not. Say it. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Dig, dig a hole. Dig, dig a hole. I am a dwarf and I am digging a hole. All the live long day. That's 100% not how either of those songs go, but I cannot remember how Diggy Diggy Hole goes right now. <sighs> so that's fun. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Hmm. I'm a bit feeling a bit lazy. Let us summon a mount. I don't think I have one. Dang. I don't have a summon for a mount. About tit mouses? What? Mouse bird? I'm Confucian, but okay. Not gonna say I'm not very confused, but I'm very confused. <clears throat> well, Discord doesn't really wanna load on this computer right now, so it'll load probably like after the stream, so. 
We will see. There's been talk amongst the guards. You better believe it. Now bow down to the mighty power of the Dragonborn. Ah. Okay. Hammerfell. They care only for war and politics. What do you need? Excuse me, but I'm trying to read. Nothing like a good adventure or romance to lose yourself in. The who? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Back to my book. Back to my book. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. <laughs> Take care, friend. Take care, friend. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Arcadia's cauldron. Got a pretty big stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. Ah, splendid. Look, splendid. you can learn alchemy it's here. For a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on foreign guy first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. I truly believe that you would absolutely love to play this game yourself. Hello, friend. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. You're just like, yes. I always do this, damn it. I meant to sell things. And said I was buying them! Fuck! Oh well. I do that a lot. Mud crab tin and vampire dust.
Yeah, a stealthy ninja. Watch what you're doing. No. If there's anything I can help you with. Yes. You want to talk? Don't even think about it. She's like, don't even think about it. I'm like, what? What do you need, my friend? I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. <laughs> we took our cheese and ran. We'll cut the cheese and run. Da 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 da. Because we are, but da 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 da. We cut the cheese and run. Couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend. You would also what cut the cheese and run? Or you think you would enjoy alchemy? What of my son? What are you doing that for? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. I've got a recipe for venison stew that I want to try out. We are the children of man. They say our food is the true. You can also do enchanting, and I, I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of stuff you can do in here that we don't know about yet. I'm about 99% sure you're going to get this game yourself and mod the absolute hell out of it. And then play the absolute hell out of it. My poor Frally, I think Thor runs to. God be praised. Do you have some? Huh? You're no fun. I don't know what dragon bones and skills are for, so we're just gonna hold on to those for now. Time to move, I guess. We grab the Skyforge. I, my clan fathers, have worked it since the first gray mains came to White Run. Got a lot of steel to shape. Mm -hmm. God be praised. We done? Do you have something to say? If you say so. If you say so. If you say so. Okay. Okay. Time to move, I guess. I ain't much for talking. Gods be praised. Gods be praised. I mean, this game is pretty much a huge fashion souls. Until next time. Was there something you wanted? Okay, but don't push your luck.
All right then. Lady, could you spare a coin, please? Please, ma'am, I would just like to eat. Please, ma'am, just a small pittance. Please, ma'am. No lollygagging. What kind of a woman do you... All right, we should probably level ourselves up real quick. What's on your mind? Yes. More health. More damage. have to travel in style. No. No. No, 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 Oh, fire doggy. Fire popo. We got ourselves a little fire dog and dun 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 dun. So remember all those jokes I made about Skyrim horses when we were playing Mass Effect? This is what I meant, by the way. We've almost made it up to the top of the mountain. Hi, Hrothgar. Sit, boy. I'll be back. I don't even know what's going on. Who are you? So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. 
First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Let us taste it? I've got your back. Oh, Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the great Master Angir. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. The Way you of stand the in Voice. High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Inner and outer selves. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path no. laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. We do whatever the fuck we want. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Roll. Roll. Ah, we learned that. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. There's all the knowledge you need in this game. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his eyes. Yes, my thing? On your mind. Force! Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Force! Roar! Force! Roar! Well done. Again. Love how shouting gives me speech abilities. You learn quickly. Once more. <laughs> Foos road damn. Didn't mean to let go. Fuss, 
Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. I'm right behind you. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow. Look at that sexy walk. She's just like sachet, 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 sachet. What's on your mind? Where's Sophia? Isn't she supposed to be here? I guess I could summon her, but like, nah. Oh, but nah, nah, who needs that? But nah, nah, we don't need that, no, no. We will now see how you learn a completely new chant. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means wood. whirlwind. Wood. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your Whirlwind Sprint to pass through before it closes. Still here. Quick mastery of a new thing really? is, uh, astonishing. astonishing. I've heard the story of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. Because I am a god gamer. You to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder. From his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. What does that even mean? No doubt the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. Many Dragonborn before you. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that Dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. When you are ready. <laughs> Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic. For they to the can scream being. and shout. There is no difference and let in the dragon out. tongue between the scream and fighting. They'll shout. Shouting they'll let it out. And the they'll go bleh, 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 bleh. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. 
For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. It's in your blood. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. <laughs> As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nord, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Was born. High above the voice within. All right. The most. Now we can go fast. Because we'll scream, we'll shout, we'll fly about fast. All right, fuego. I'd like to point out that that didn't kill us. That drop gave me like a pit. Ragdoll! And we keep on rolling, rolling, and rolling, rolling, and rolling, rolling, and rolling, rolling, and. Did we. Damn it, we died. Fine. Yes, my lady. We won't jump off the mountain. <sighs> Blatantly. What was I saying? Oh my god. So, speedrunners in this game have a glitch in which uh, they quick save, quick load their game with their horse standing on a particular rock with a particular angle so that when they load into that save, they are flung across the sky.
Who hired you? Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. We just wanted to take a quick dip. Why were you letting a mud crab bully you? Fuego! Do we want to switch to Shiva? Sorry, Nerthus. Oh my god, this is all the way over here? Bones of a Charizard. Ajit! You are limit you are to eliminate Sophie by any means necessary. The black sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. <gasps> Bum ba -dum -bum. Ba -ba -da -bum. That was a cool shot. Oh, the ding a ling a lings. Well, unfortunately, she's our only ride for right now, so. Okay, it's Esther! Goblins?
she just walk in the way of me and then just get mad at me for shooting her in the fucking back? Goblin longbow better than my bow? Okay. Wait, my damage is 18. How is the goblin longbow better? My, that does 13. Bow. What? Do longbows do... Wait, did, did it think I had a different weapon equipped? Whatever. That was weird. Excuse me, you literally have an arrow to the tit. Can I take, can, 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 no? Okay. I was gonna take the arrow out of your titty, but apparently she likes it. She's like, it's the piercing she's never gotten. La ha 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 ha. <laughs> huh. All right. Anyway. What? Good news, I'm borrowing- well, I guess not borrowing. I have been given some pills that should help with my arthritic knees. And if they work over the next couple of days, I'm going to be setting up a doctor's appointment to, you know, get it taken. Actually get them prescribed to me. Guys, I found Littlefoot. I don't know. Celebrex? Something like that? I don't know what it's called. What's this? Fine, we'll walk. See, we're pretty close. We were here the last time we checked, so.
Why is there a dragon on my minimap? Why is there a dragon on my minimap? Why is there a dragon on my minimap? Found out why there was a dragon on my minimap. Combustion dragon. Well, I feel toasty now. Who's? Gave him an enema. He is an, an enigma. Who's? That's what? Three dragons we've killed now? I would still like to point out that there is still a dragon on my minimap. I see another dragon out of the corner of my eye. We fell. Because I slipped and fell and fell and fell, fell. We slipped 
and fell. We fell -y well. We fell -y all the way down to the ground. I was falling. That shout saved us. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. And I sure don't know where we have been. Did we die? Or did we fall over? We died. Oh! It's a Mega Charizard! You physics. Ooh, Mark Hawkins. Sorry, or Calcum. Macaulay Culkin. Who's wrong? He was reanimating, but I stole his weapons! Who's wrong? Ah, Charizard, stop it! And then you killed me anyway! Alright, how do I get around these things? So clearly I cannot kill them. Because they keep reviving.
My head. You're so fancy. You already know. Who's Welcome to Skyrim now, where we get our asses kicked 30 times until we figure out how to fight back. Until we find the next set of enemies who we're gonna have to kick their asses and learn how to fight back. You're not here to see me easily win now, are we? Wow, that was a one shot, though. Fuck. I kill one and immediately get hit with a fire shout. And then we're dead. No, no, we definitely died, lady. <laughs> They're like, we died. No, no, it's okay. We'll try again. Over and over, over and over, we'll fight these fights. Who's 
<laughs> what the fuck? All right, fine. Excuse me. Who sent me flying? We got this, we got this, we got this. Shing, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. It was one hit. It was one hit, ja. Me? Oh, he knocked me over. I didn't die yet. And then I died. Fuck. We actually were. Blah, 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 blah. Comboed me. Freaking comboed me. Are you fr You know what? Fine.
Watch like someone come in and be like, Oops. why are you here? This is like mid game. One of them is a one touch to kill me. All right, fine. From a distance, then. It just, it has to be that way. You just have to avoid their shout, then. Oh, we fell. And died. Not that this is gonna do much for me, but... Yeah, they just respawn. Wait, are they dead? Hold on. Oh my god, we might have killed them finally! 
there's still one more. I thought was steal their weapons. They can't harm us as badly. Boy, was I wrong. Please fuck off, mates. I think... I just had to kill them twice. Guess we died too many times and Mega Charizard decided to leave us. Sad. Ooh, there's a shiny over here though. No, oh, if only I had Fuego, we could climb this mountain. And my game crashed. Wait, hasn't crashed yet. Okay, it crashed. Anyway, that's a great place for us to end it off anyway, because it's after 10. So I guess we'll leave it off with a crash. So anyway. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and until the next time, everybody. Shh.